Hello once again. Uh, last time we discussed, or last time we met, uh, we discussed structure and function. Now before we go any further in today's uh, screencast about cells, what do you think the structure and function of these cells are? Okay, we've got some dyed kind of blobby ones on the top left, some very organized ones on the top right and on the bottom there. Now these are all cells well, first you should probably know that the top left are cheek cells. They've been stained or dyed to be that color. The one on the right there, that's actually cells from cork. Is in the cork you would find in the top of a bottle. And the bottom there, those are onion cells. And those two have been dyed. So we can see them better. Okay, These individual cells actually perform a very important role or function within the system that they're in. Now, as we said before, cells are the smallest known functioning units of life, and all organisms must be made up of at least one cell. Right? And cells will actually combine. When you have millions of cells, they form tissues. And when you have lots and lots of tissue, you get an organ. When you have lots and lots of or well, lots and lots. <laughs> when you have organs come together, you create an organ system. So, let's backtrack a little bit here to these little cells. Okay, these little tiny cells within our systems. Every cell has within it its own specialized structures. And these structures are incredibly important to making sure that the cell sustains life and can maintain its daily functions. These specialized structures we call organelles, as in mini organs. And they carry out very specific functions. Okay, one way to think about a, uh, a cell is like imagine there are little factories that are alive or even a little school that's alive and each part of it works together to make sure that the whole works. So the first, there are two types of cells we're going to look at and the first type of cell is an animal cell. Now this is a very generic picture. Okay, You'll see different versions of these pictures as you go through school or if you search animal cell on the uh, web. And what it implies is, is that all animals have cells like this. Not identical to this but like this and the structures within this cell are similar across the board. Okay, so let's take a look at what these structures are. First, we have a cell membrane and that's on the outside and it controls the movement in and out of the cell. If it doesn't get through the cell membrane, it's not allowed in. Some stuff passes freely, other stuff not at all. Okay, that's that outer layer, cell membrane. Then we have the nucleus. Think of this like the brain of the cell. This controls all the cell activities and actually within the nucleus we have our DNA. The, the thing that makes up what this cell is, what it's supposed to do and what it's made out of. That's all in the nucleus. Then we have vacuoles. Now in this photo there's actually four vacuoles. Uh, but vacuoles here, they're a storage place for food, wastes and water. Not all the same one, but each vacuole can store food or waste or water. And all, cell, all cells have these organelles of vacuoles. We have something called a cytoplasm. And that's the empty space in between all of the organelles. And this empty space actually contains cell nutrients. So that the cell can survive. So it's almost like it eats a part of it. Uh, it's a part of itself to, to, to sustain life. And the last part of the animal cell is something called a mitochondria. Not chondria. Mitochondria mitochondria. And this is what we call the powerhouse of the cell. That actually should be this guy right here. Okay, And this powerhouse of the cell is where energy is created. This allows the cell to maintain or perform its daily functions using the energy generated by that uh, jelly bean looking thing. Okay, Mitochondria. Now plant cells. Plant cells you can see some very similar structures there. But you should notice right away that the shape of a plant cell is incredibly different. And all plants contain plant cells that have these parts. The, the view might be different, but the parts are all there. And thankfully, animal cells and plant cells actually contain a lot of the same structures. Uh, there's a cell membrane on, on the inside there. We have a nucleus. We have a vacuole. Notice the vacuole is much larger in the plant cell because plants uh, need more water. Cytoplasm, the empty space in between, and the mitochondria. But there's two more structures in here that are only found in plant cells 
and these structures are very, very important to maintaining uh, structural stability and health within the plant. The first one you'll notice is the cell wall. It's another layer outside. Cell walls are only found in plant cells. They are not found in animal cells. And this actually provides support and stability for the cell. This is the reason that plants are able to grow straight up or, or relatively straight up is because of this extra support and stability. Plants don't have bones, so they rely on the individual strength of the cells to maintain that structure. We also have here something called a chloroplast. And again, it's only found in plant cells. And this is the site for photosynthesis. This is where the actual site inside the cell where photosynthesis takes place. Light energy confirmed to or con, light energy converted to usable, storable energy of the plant. Okay? So between plant cells and animal cells, a lot of similar a lot of similarities, uh, but two main differences in the plant cell you have to be aware of. And that's the generic once over of the different plant and animal cells. Uh, as you get into high school uh, biology or further on, you will find that there will be many more structures uh, within the cell, whether it's plant or animal, that have much more complex parts. And there's even parts in our photos that we didn't really mention. So just be aware of these basic parts and the other parts will come soon enough. Okay? As always, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to do so on the video.